What's up, everyone? We are coming to the close of another decade. And I want to make this video because I need to own up to my failures. And I'm saying this because it has been a decade filled with depression, anxiety, and profound loneliness. And without a doubt, I honestly feel like the greater one's success is, the less likely they are to experience any kind of mental breakdown, and they're gonna be able to make friends more easily, they're gonna have better success with dating, whereas if you have a lack of success, well, the inverse is gonna be true. More loneliness, a struggle to make friends, and so forth. Having a large amount of success is not gonna necessarily keep one immune from developing any kind of depression, anxiety, or any other form of mental illness. However, I do feel like it will make a person more resilient and be able to better cope with whatever mental ailments they may be going through. Uh, just look up to some famous athletes and you can hear about their stories and how they were able to overcome depression, anxiety, bipolar, or whatever it may be. So there is a lot of positives to being able to have a large amount of success in life. Back in 2012, when my enlistment was up with the Navy, I had decided to come back to Washington State because I was led by a bunch of false promises that I would be able to rekindle a lot of my old friendships that I had made in my teens and 20s through skiing. Unfortunately, that did not become the case because many of my past friends have either gotten into relationships, have their own families, or if they're not in any kind of relationship, they've experienced a huge amount of success. And I can't hold that against them because that's where owning up to my failures really becomes essential because I can't be envious of other people's successes. However, that is kind of the repercussions of kind of failing to match up to, to a lot of my old friends is they kind of move on in life. And unfortunately, that's just how society seems to work is those who have lesser success are kind of pushed back or they're just kind of pushed off to the side. But this is where it's going to be really important that I own up to my mistakes and starting next year, as I've mentioned in some of my past videos, I am making a career change. Given I don't have the most flamboyant personality, my sense of humor needs some serious work, uh, coupled with my disability, sinking myself tens of thousands of dollars into student loan debt for a degree in exercise science was not a wise move. Regardless, I can't do anything about the past, so there's no sense on dwelling on it. Instead, I must focus on setting my sights for a better future. And as a matter of fact, I recently got accepted into the University of Denver's Master's in Data Science program. So right now my goal is to find my way to somehow make it to Denver and start the program, which starts next fall. In the meantime, I have been touching up on my math skills, practicing a lot of coding, learning about data science, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna post a link to some awesome websites for any of you out there who wanna touch up on some math skills, learn to code, or maybe wanna get into data science. Because like I said, having a good amount of success, I feel can make one more resilient, can help one better cope with any issues they may come across in life, and it can even help one uh, have a better ability to establish friendships, and this overall lead to an overall better quality of life. And although it's looking more likely that I'm gonna be alone when the clock strikes midnight on 2020 and probably having feelings of loneliness, this is where I've gotta own up to my failures and rise above them. I wish you all the best of luck, whoever may be struggling to find any kind of connectiveness in this world. Godspeed.